Greetings, beautiful souls. It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Sandra, and I am here with your motivational soul healing video. If you're coming for the first time, please do press the subscribe button down below and press the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time when I upload a new video. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just go straight to today's video. I just want to talk about the importance of allowing your external life to be a signal that is going to make you aware of yourself in your internal life. We have a relationship with ourselves and that relationship relates to the subconsciousness level of who we are. That is why we are able to have conversations inside our heads and even respond to ourselves when we are talking to ourselves. So there is an inner God that dwells within each and every one of us that tells us when we are doing good and that when we are doing bad. And this particular inner God does not view good and bad in the way the world sees good and bad. It's all about what you are aligned with. If you go against your own will, if you go against your own make, if you go against your own purpose, you will definitely pay the price. So there are people who might be asking themselves, Uguti, how come I'm such a kind person. I make a conscious decision to make sure with each and every human being that I come across, I give them the best ability of being a human being to them. I render the services and use myself, my time, and to render the services to them that you strongly do believe with these people were assigned across your path or to cross your path for a reason. Now, the people that you're going to come across are going to tell you exactly who you are based on how you behave around them, what behavior you allow from them, and what are the things that manifest after you have brought them closer. But before I touch on that, I just want to go into depth in explaining how the internal and the external life work hand in hand. Every time when you go against your own will, you are creating a scene and you will pay the price. The price is going to be guilt feeling. The price is going to be the shame and anger and frustration that you're going to feel. I want us to have an understanding, Yoguti, when we feel these emotions, they produce a certain frequency of energy and they manifest themselves into something that can be part of who we are. We cannot destroy energy. Once energy is created, it can only be transferred. It cannot be destroyed. So it is up to you what you choose to do with how people behave in your space, in your presence, after you have assisted them. There are people who betray themselves on a daily basis and they are able to see this betrayal coming from the people who are the same people they might have assisted in the past, who might be the people who are supposed to be their friends and family, but they start backstabbing them, they start showing and gratitude towards them because you have betrayed yourself by being of service towards somebody who you were supposed to say no to. The universe is going to make sure that it's going to send you people who are going to break your heart if you keep on breaking your own heart. The universe at large is willing to do anything it takes to make you self-aware of the sabotaging that you tend to do towards yourself. So if you are unable to call yourself out on the behaviors of ungratitude toward yourself, behaviors of not being able to cherish yourself and love yourself and value yourself, because most of us don't even know what it means to love ourselves. We think that loving ourselves means getting ready, bathing, getting clean, looking beautiful, but there's more work that goes into loving yourself. People who love you themselves so much wholeheartedly they tend to be disliked because they do not accept any behavior or any action to, from other people that is coming towards them as long as that behavior is against the boundary line they have created for themselves. So that is why people who are very healed, they are much likely to have a very few number of people they call friends because they know what they deserve and they know situations that they should never find themselves in. So if you are the type of a person who is keeping a blind eye and ignorant of your path, of your journey here on earth, you are unaware of the things that you do to yourself. The universe is willing to send you someone who's going to do 
the, the very same things that you're doing to yourself just so you can smell the coffee, just so you can wake up and see it for what it truly is. Because it is hard to accept bad behavior when it's performed by someone else toward yourself. But when you are sending the same energy or the same behavior toward yourself of self-sabotage, it is much likely to become a habit and it's going to be something that you do without being aware that you are hurting yourself. So the universe see it fitting to send you something that is outside of you. And I just want to make a very rough example just so we can get an understanding of the kind of situations we as human beings, we tend to, to put ourselves into without being aware that we're putting ourselves into these situations. And then we are the very same people who are quick to cry and complain when we are starting to see the outcomes of our own actions. When you allow people to do as they please, to come in and out in your life as they please, to behave anyhow in your life as they please, you are allowing each and every energy that comes with their behavior, that comes with their mental stability or lack of, that comes with their intentions of why they are treating you the way that they're doing. You are allowing evil to proceed and to succeed into penetrating through your aura, through your personal space, through you, so that it can manifest whatever that it wants to do using your energy or harnessing your energy. The more you allow things that are bad for you to come and have a space in your life, you are committing a sin and you will pay the price for the consequences. The reason why I'm sharing this is because it's like a new perspective of seeing life. More, most of the time over the years, we've been given this theory that is solely based on religion. But religion itself have proven to show that it is unable to answer some questions that we have uh, in order to get our full knowledge of what exactly is happening or was happening and why was it happening that way and what are the lessons we need to learn out of that. And also the fact that most religious books are written in quotes. So we sometimes lack the, in, the ability to decode them. Because of those reasons, we end up misinterpreting the message and we do not get what is it that we needed to get. Because most of the things are personified, which are not persons, which are not humans, but they are personified. Astrology is personified in most religions, where we, they talk about planets, where they are personified, stars, the sun, the moon. So it is impossible for a human being who is taking it for what it is truly is, as it is in its literal form without decoding and finding connotations that are hidden that are behind the teachings of the religious books you end up missing a lot of lessons because you are taking it as it is that is why if you want to find the truth you gotta search within yourself whatever that feels right within you that should be your truth and truth changes over time what you believe to be true now, after you have developed and turned into a person you need to become in a couple of years from now, you will not have the same perspective or the same set of eyes of seeing the things the same as you did five years ago, two years ago, ten years ago. That is what we call growth. We also have growth in spirituality as well. The more matured you become spiritually, the more you are self-aware, the more you are able to show a self-love without fear of the society or without looking different, you are able to come closer to a healed version of you or to a better or higher version of you. You are now able to harness the powers that are within you that are invented by God, him or herself within you. Because each and every person living, we have a piece of God within us. That's what I, I choose to strongly do believe. So that is why also it is so easy to change your life around. You can still change your life around. You can still do better. You still choose to live with people who are more aware of their behavior, more aware of how they influence other people's emotions, how they influence other people's lives, how what kind of influence or contribution they be, bring in the society, in the family, in friendship. Once you are aware, you start drawing closer people who are also self-aware. Once you are healed, you start drawing closer people who are more version, a, a, version, a, a healed version of you. 
the more you do the things that you are seeking for from other people, the more you become a magnet that attracts them without you having to go and chase for them. That is why I strongly do believe in the saying that says, whatever that is meant to be mine will be mine. I'm not a chaser. I do not chase. I attract. That is the mentality of how we need to view ourselves. Whatever you need to become, you must become it. Whatever that you feel you need to have, you must first become it so it will come to you itself. It will come to you. It will gravitate toward you. It will be attracted toward your path. And if you do that and you show self-love, the quality of the life that you live and the quality of the people that you tend to attract will also increase and improve. I hope that this video did find you in a good spirit. I wish you all the best. Love and light.